Hey folks, Alex McMahon here of Evolved Nutritional Therapy. Today we're going to be continuing on in our series on why fat loss is more difficult for women. In the previous video, video 4, we did an overview of the overall menstrual cycle and took a brief look at the different phases. So in video 5 today, we're going to be discussing and taking a closer look at the very first phase of the menstrual cycle, also known as the follicular phase. The follicular phase is the 14 days to take place before ovulation. Also, during this phase, the predominant hormone is going to be estrogen. Now, due to estrogen being the predominant hormone that is present in the greatest concentration, there's going to be a few big benefits that take place during the follicular phase. One of the biggest ones is that there's going to be a decrease in appetite and cravings. So that means if a woman was to undergo some kind of big nutrition change or to start a new diet, the follicular phase of her menstrual cycle would actually be the best phase to do it because this is when cravings and actual appetite will be at its very lowest throughout the menstrual cycle. Next up, fat burning enzymes will be upregulated during this phase as well. Women will be more insulin sensitive, so that means that their body will be able to more efficiently use the carbohydrates that they're eating, and they'll actually be burning more carbs as well during this phase of their menstrual cycle. Also, strength gains and the retention of lean body mass will also increase during the follicular phase, and this is partially due to the fact that estrogen helps with muscle soreness, which means that it's also helping the muscle to recover. The first week of a woman's cycle is going to be when they're going to weigh their absolute lightest. Now as estrogen goes up and increases and hits its peak right before ovulation, the woman will actually start to weigh more. Part of this is because one of the properties of estrogen is it's going to cause sodium retention and sodium retention is going to cause the woman to be able to retain more water. So if you're going to weigh yourself, one of the important things to know about your menstrual cycle is that you need to compare your weight during the cycle and the week to the next weight of the next cycle during the next week, which can get kind of complicated, and I doubt that this is something that a lot of people have taken into account. So if you're comparing a weight from a different phase of your menstrual cycle and a different week of your menstrual cycle, you're gonna end up very frustrated when your weight is all over the place. However, you'll be able to get much more accurate readings if you weigh from the exact same week of the exact same phase of your menstrual cycle. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video and stay tuned as we discuss progesterone dominance and some of the things that can happen and shoot you in the foot when it comes to fat loss during the luteal phase. Now I'm offering something right along with these to help you reach your goals. Part of the reason that I'm doing these videos is because I want to help people to be able to get to their goals in a sustainable fashion. To do that, what I'm offering is a free 20 to 30 minute phone strategy session with me where we'll take a deep dive into some of the roadblocks to you reaching your current fitness, health, and fat loss goals. We'll see what's preventing you from getting there, what the sustainable steps and habits are for you to be able to get from where you are now to where your goal is, and then next, we'll start developing a long-term plan for you to follow. So I know that you're interested in that, and you can find the link right below in the description. There'll be a link for you to click on, and it'll take you to a very short form. You throw a few answers in there, and then you can hop on the phone with me to start discussing what your goals are and how we can work towards getting you there. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in video six.